So now that the uh, the legal process appears to have cleared. What, what's the next step for Jobs Ohio in terms of the bond market? Yeah, as, as the governor pointed out, um, we were looking at uh, kind of next steps. Uh, we felt all, all along that uh, we, would, we would win this. Um, but it is a process, and what we have to do is evaluate uh, the different things that we can do uh, and, and move uh, directly forward. But is the plan still to go to the bond market, lease the liquor profits, all the oh, things? Oh, that absolutely. Not, not, none of that's changed. It's exactly the strategy and how we do it. You know, markets change. Uh, markets are changing, and we're, we're looking at uh, uh, multiple different alternatives, and uh, uh, we expect uh, to have this uh, all, all taken care of uh, by the end of the year. So how much is it tied to your hands not having the funds that you would like to have? Oh, it is. It's tied our hands tremendously. Um, I mean, basically, uh, what we were going to do with, with, the, uh, with the excess liquor profits, we're going to be able to do economic development like no other state in the union. Uh, on top of that is we have maybe half the staff. Uh, probably, yeah, about half the staff that we would normally want to have. Uh, and so we haven't been able to hire, we haven't been able to do a lot of things we've wanted to do. Uh, we just had a big meeting with all the uh, regional partners, and they were saying, you know, Mark, you guys got to do the staff. I mean, the good news is, the word's out, Ohio is doing a lot of great stuff. Our volume, I think we have 450 open projects. I have 450 open projects, and I, uh, we have six project managers. We need more people. Uh, we have multiple loan programs and things like that. So we just, we, we got to get this thing going. Do you have a, I mean, we've been bugging you guys for a timeline. Do you have one now? And is, is in terms well, of when we, do you think you'll have one? No, I, like I told you, I, I believe this will all get done by the end of the year. Okay. Um, it's just a lot of it has to do with the markets. The markets change rapidly. Um, you know, you, you, believe it or not, in the bond market, they care about what's going on in Europe and, <laughs> and things like that. So I suspect it will be done by the end. Have you talked to uh, Mr. Davis from Bob Evans, who's also on your board? Bob Evans announced he was going to move some jobs out of Ohio. Is, is that a conflict at all? I mean, for you, I mean, he's on the Jobs Ohio board, but they had to move. No, some I, jobs. I actually I met with Steve Davis. He was uh, we spent some time together. I want Bob Evans to be the best company uh, they can be and hire as many people as they can in Ohio. But people may or may not know they own a big operation in California. And so it didn't make sense for them to have some of this capability in Ohio. It made more sense for it to have be in Texas. The good news about Steve is he called me up and said, Mark, I'm going to find jobs for all of those people uh, here in Ohio. We'll move them around in our organization. And in addition, we're building new distribution centers. We're upgrading our restaurants. We're doing all of those things. I think the key thing is we want vibrant, growing companies. And the more they grow outside of Ohio as well, it helps them grow more people here. Wendy's is a great example. I mean, what you're going to see here at Wendy's is they're going to be growing exponentially internationally. And what's that going to be? More people at the headquarters. So, um, no, I'm, I'm very conscientious of what he's done, and he's, he's been a very good uh, corporate citizen and, and, and how he's handled the whole process. Any other questions? Perfect. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. I have a, Got it. Got it. I have a real basic.